Now, if you recognize these people, write in the comments, who are they? I'll give you 10 seconds. Starting right now. Answer. The Beatles. Hi guys, so welcome to a new episode on this channel and today we will be talking about who were the Beatles? Let's get started right now. All right, so all of this has been on to me, and I'm not going to resist all of this, but the Beatles are one of my favorite group bands of all time. So today we'll be talking about John Lennon, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, and George Harrison. Uh, let's get the show started. So let's start with John Lennon. Now John Lennon is actually my favorite Beatles fan. And he actually lost his mother. What the? He actually lost his mother countless times. Once. And he didn't really like it. I mean, who doesn't like their mother going away and mostly dying? Well, it just turns out that he was having a very tough childhood. He made fun of his teachers when he was in teen. He was a teen, and eventually, in one day, he found out about the guitar, and he started playing. And all of this has just came to me and wondered to me that is this all worth it? I mean, this is probably not worth it. But everything that seems to happen here, it doesn't seem to be the best option at all. Is it? Or is it? And John Lennon had a pretty rough childhood as having a very good guitar met his aunt mimi where he stayed with wasn't into this guitar in this industry saying that it's a hobby but not a career not a suitable career it is a suitable career in my opinion but still it's not that much of one thing to be to be done and the beatles weren't called the beatles back then they were called the Quarrymen. The Quarrymen. They yeah, convert. And I just found out that all of this has probably would have never happened in this world at all. Quarrymen, that's a good start. But now, I'm not even so sure about that name. Let's go. For a bit of green. This isn't my type, and all I'm going to say about it is that it's not supposed to be mine either. So, I'm just going to say that while I'm fooling around with this, they changed their name to the Beatles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bam, 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 color five. And not just that, it isn't pretty much my type either. But once I change these back, it's just going to be probably your type too. Not the way I thought of it, but still a good way, in a good way. All of this hasn't even affected me a little bit. And all of these end times, I haven't even think of it as that either. And the Beatles are a good group. And now that we're done talking about John Lennon, let's move on to the other dudes. 
after I turn it into a shade of red. Now let's go to uh, Paul McCartney. Now Paul McCartney also lost his mother. Her, their mother, his mother, didn't tell him that he was going to get he that she had breast cancer, so she died without telling her son how she died. Um, Paul McCartney. That's actually one of these things that are I actually one of the people that I love most about of the Beatles. He, he was once he got his guitar though. He couldn't stop playing it, even anywhere else. By the way, when he was a kid, he was very chubby. Eventually, while growing older, he lost his baby fat. One down, two down, two to go. Now let's talk about Ringo Starr. Now this guy is interesting. Because he's a drummer and he's 15 years old, unlike the other two that I just mentioned, who were 18 years old when the Beatles were formed. Ringo Starr was an especially good drummer, and once he got his drum kit, he was able to do almost anything with it. He got his first he got his first drum kit by creating them from cookie tins and creating the sticks from a firewood. And all this led to his day career as a drummer for the Beatles. <clears throat> Let's go to the blue. St Let's go to the green stage. No, not that shade of green. How about this shade of green? Da 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 da. Dun 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 dun. dun. And now on to George Harrison. The youngest and the second to die member of the Beatles. Now he was also the youngest Beatle and he was also had the happiest Beatle of ever. He played guitar and he loved it when he created guitar. And he when he met Paul, they realized how much they had in common and they decided to work together on creating a group. They decided to call it the Quarry Men. And eventually, they were just doing all their work on the Quarryman business. And as much as I have doubted that George Harrison had the happiest childhood of the Beatles, I actually found out that he actually had the happiest childhood. After reading about his childhood, he did seem to have the happiest childhood of all the Beatles. And when he created Quarryman, and then the Beatles and let Ringo join into his group. John Lennon wasn't really into this, into George, because he was 15 years old when he joined. But Paul convinced John to let him in. So, I'm not going to complain here. But all of this is just the first step. The Beatles eventually created way more song albums. Like Abbey Road, that's one of the albums that I actually know. And that's all the ones I know. Four down, complete. Now why won't this thing enlarge? Awesome. Now let's see, I think purple will work. Well, no, I think blue will do nicely here. Da 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 we are complete! The Pluto! End of story.
da 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 da